We're going to see if the infinity of the natural numbers and the infinity of the prime numbers or even numbers or odd numbers is the same. So the proof that everybody says in order to say that the number of of numbers in the natural set is the same as the numbers in the odd set or even number set or prime set is for example let's put the first 10 natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and now let's put the even numbers so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 so one can say that for every natural number we can take the double of that number and we would have infinity natural numbers and infinity even numbers now the this second row is the same as the first one but instead of counting with base 10 that is after the 10th number we repeat so 10 11 12 etc here we are repeating every five numbers so this is the natural numbers in base 10 this is the natural numbers in base 5 if we can do it in base um, 2 in which case will be will be these two now will be here 10 and so it will be 5 it will be 5 10 um, 15 20 this is natural numbers base in base 2 this is natural numbers in base 10 this is natural numbers in base 5 so when we put in one row the natural numbers and in other row the even numbers actually we are putting in the second row the natural numbers but with base 5 so when someone says that that for every natural number we can have the even number um, because we multiply that by 2 or we can have the double of this natural number actually we are putting the natural numbers just as in, in another base now we have the the natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all that and we have the even numbers the odd numbers 1 3 5 7 and also the prime numbers one um well we don't know if one is prime number or not uh, we say that yes but everybody says that don't but this is um, talk of another video so 1 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 here 7 9 11 13 15 17 etc all these sets the set of natural numbers the set of even numbers the set of odd numbers the set of prime numbers every one of these sets is infinity or contains infinity a uh, number of elements but the infinity of the natural numbers is greater than the infinity of the of the prime numbers or of the odd numbers or of the even numbers one there are many ways we could see this first um, this set is equal to the the junction of the set of the even numbers plus the junction of the plus the set of the even numbers so the number of elements here that is some infinity well let me mm, say this number that is a this is equal to let's say b plus c now this means that if b and c are different than zero this implies that mm, b is greater than a is lesser than a because c is some number and we know that b and c is actually not only are greater than are different than zero they are greater than zero so in order for this to be true because we know that the even numbers plus well the the elements in the even number set is this plus the the number of elements in the odd number set mm, complete the elements or the total of elements in the in the natural natural number set so this um for this we know that b needs to be lesser than a 
and the same is for C. So this infinity, this number of elements is infinity, but is a infinity less than this infinity. The same for the even numbers. And the same for the prime numbers. They are all these numbers are included on the natural number set, but the, this set also contains other numbers, so this infinity is greater than the infinity of the prime numbers. Now, a more rigorous proof is when something is equal to another or has the same numerosity or is, is a numerosity with something. Let's say, for example, I have this set x and this set y, the elements of x are this, and the, num the number of elements in y are these. So here in the x we have three elements and in y we have three elements. So if we divide the number of elements in one set by the number of elements in the other set, we have one. This means that the the elements in, in the set x is equal to the number of elements in this set y. So these sets are isonumerous with each other. Now we have the sets of the natural numbers and the sets of the even numbers. So what are the, mm, the number of elements in the natural number set? Infinity. And the elements in the, in the even number set? Infinity. So infinity over infinity is not one. Infinity over infinity is, is a undefined form or indeterminate form is not, is not one. If, if this b equals to 1, then the, the number of elements in the natural set will be the same as the number of elements in the even number set. But since infinity over infinity is not 1, then we know that the infinity in the natural numbers is, is different than the infinity in the even numbers. And we know so that the infinity in the elements of the set of natural numbers is a infinity greater than the infinity of the numbers or the elements of the numbers in the in the even number set or in the odd number set or in the prime number set. Now this this can be this what I'm showing in the video can be a refutation. Someone can refute this, but in order to refute needs to refute what I'm saying here. I don't want the confirmation of of someone that says that, that we can put the natural numbers here and then the double this I already say that this is putting the natural numbers in base in base five, we can put it in base two, etc. But I don't want the confirmation of other methods that lead to a different answer. I want the refutation of this video that leads to this answer. The answer that the infinity of the natural number set is different than the than the infinity of the even number sets.